Okay, we're back. The chicken is nice and brown. I'm starting to take it out of the pan now. And I've also gone ahead and put my butter in because I want, I want that butter to get on that chicken a little bit. Got it nice and brown a little bit. So we're just gonna put it on my foil pan. I'm gonna say it's only gonna have to bake for about 45 minutes, not the whole hour. And I think I baked that other chicken thing the hour and a half. Because it's five meat and it's thicker and it takes the longest to cook. <clears throat> so this is nice and browned it up. And see how so this is such an easy, um, it's one of those real easy tasty meals that you can cook. And just, so what I'm going to do is just this buffer around the pan. I'm going to go ahead and incorporate my onions and my peppers and let them saute. And when they get nice and wilty and sauteed up, I'm going to put my, um, my Vidalia seasoning in there. And we're gonna have us some nice old gravy. Okay, we're gonna sprinkle them out with about a half a teaspoon of uh, roasted garlic powder. And I've cooked my rice, by the way. Just waiting by the sideway, on the sideline, really. This is onion powder. And a little bit of chicken bouillon season. Make sure everything gets all nice and seasoned good. This is such a great dish. And it's so simple. And you see, you know, you pretty much, except for the five minutes that uh, we cook the chicken on the side, you're pretty much looking at this in real time. This is all there is to it. Season the chicken. Put the oil in the pan, brown the chicken for 10 minutes, five minutes on each side. Take it out. You get the rest of the butter going in here. And then just saute your onion and your pepper. Leave them in there a little bit. Not on high, high heat, but you're going to put them on high, high heat. On medium, high heat. Do this for five or six minutes and it, it should be okay. And the reason we're doing this at all, of course, as we talked talk about many times before, is that uh, we want to pull the flavor up out of those onions before we add anything else to it. Um, and also, to brown those onions and pepper juice. I like that little brown. We'll see the look on the side of that. Get this out of the way. I don't have a big old cleanup today, praise the Lord. And I'm gonna like seven be putting about a couple tablespoons of uh, brown uh, a tablespoon of not a couple, but one tablespoon of brown sugar in here. Just to pull that little um it's, it's like a sweet and sour almost. But this, I find that the Vidalia avocado, I'm sorry, not the day, but this avocado <coughs> vinaigrette is not as sweet as the Vidalia onion. I mean, it has a good flavor to it though. And it's almost the same flavor except this one. And they have as much, I don't know. The Vidalia onion seems to have a more poignant flavor or a little bit stronger flavor. So we're gonna let that sit. We want lots of nice onions and peppers in there, so when it all cooks, it'll just fuse in and just taste wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. So we're going to give it a minute or two. Well, I hope that you all continue to pray without seeing There were some more shootings over, oh Lord, over the weekend. I can't even remember. I, you know, sometimes my brain just shuts down for that, but I do know uh, yesterday somebody was talking about it. So we're still praying for everybody around the country who has suffered through some kind of violence with a family member with these shootings. And we're just praying, you know, that at some point these things will cease. And I know they will, but you know, we don't know what God's will is about anything until he does it. Just, you 
just don't know. I mean, we have to be cognizant of the fact that he will put an end to it when he says it needs to be. And, uh, hold on, let's see who on the phone, y'all. Hello? I didn't recognize the number they didn't really say nothing. So I guess they, I, I just, you know, when people call my number, I don't care who it is. If they take too long to say, hey, hey, how you doing? I'm Miss Kyle, whatever. I figure they don't want anything. Okay, so I think this is good enough. She got a little brown on the bottom of the pan. So what I'm going to do now is go ahead and I'm going to use my, this is my leftover little bit of gravy that I had from that chicken yesterday. That was all that was left from that chicken yesterday was that little bit of gravy. Okay, so we're going to get that all incorporated into the mix. Then I'm going to put about a cup and a half of this in there. Just pour it right in and just let it cook just like you would any other gravy. I missed a piece of onion. Put it in there. It'll work. Like Tim Gunn says on Project Runway, make it work. So we're just going to let that bubble and sizzle like we would any other kind of gravy for a few minutes. Put a Seems like I need a little bit more. I got a pretty good amount of chicken. I think I got about two pounds of chicken breast. I had those chicken breasts. It was time for those to come out of the freezer anyway, so that's good. Now I'm going to go ahead and put in my brown sugar. Here it comes, here it comes. Got some of brown sugar in there, and I think that'll just set it right off. And cook that in there just a little bit, just a little bit. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to put this in the oven and I'm going to cover it. And it's going to cook for about 45 minutes in a 375 degree paint, uh, oven. So got a couple more minutes. Make sure those peppers and onions are cooked down as they need to be. And that's going to be dinner for today along with you. We got a couple of leftovers left, but not nearly enough for a full meal. Because usually, you know, the day after Thanksgiving, um, after Thanksgiving, but the Thanksgiving to any holiday, even the day after uh, Sunday dinner, we need to have lots of leftovers. So we're going to have lots of them today. I didn't even get a chance to eat any of this with egg chicken. This is one of those dishes that I really truly really love to eat because it's, it's so good and it's so different. So, mm, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to go ahead and put my chicken while this is, well, this is hot enough. That's what I wanted to do when I take it out of here and put it in the stove, I want to continue cooking. We'll go ahead and get my foil. So listen, guys, I'll be back in about 45 minutes to let y'all see exactly what it looks like. And we'll serve it up and ready to eat, y'all. So hang on. I'll be right back. Okay, that gravy is ready to go right over the top of it. There it goes, guys. That's it. Now I'm going to cover this, y'all. It's going right into the oven. Oh yeah, that's perfect. I mean, this one looks prettier than the one we did yesterday. Okay. Okay. Yes, that's ready, y'all. I can't wait to get a hold of this one. Maybe, I, maybe this is why I had to make a second one. Who knew? This might be the one, y'all. Okay. All righty then. Marcus said we're going to cover it. 
and make sure it is wrapped really, really tight all the way around. 375 degrees for about 45 minutes, and it's, be, it's ready to put over the rice. So hang tight, we'll be back. Okay, y'all, all done. For di well, this is actually avocado vinaigrette chicken, similar to Vidalia onion chicken. Anyway, it's good. We're serving over jasmine rice. Listen, listen to the video, get in the kitchen and try it. You will love it. So guys, thank y'all for stopping by. This is just going to be short and sweet because I'm just doing a little remix on this one. So anywho, love you guys. Take care. Do something kind for someone. Continue to pray without ceasing. Um, just keep those prayers going up for yourself and for others as well. Continue to pray for our sisters and brothers who are going through all through this country, whatever it is. Do a kind deed for somebody. A prayer, even a prayer. When you're thinking about somebody sometime, go ahead and send up a prayer for them. A kind word, a deed, a cash app, a phone call, whatever it takes to make somebody's day. So thanks again for your well wishes, your compliments, your comments, and your challenges. Love you guys until I decide to cook again now. Toodaloo.